I want to give you guys the best possible chance of passing performance management. Even though it's like one of the most difficult papers to pass in the applied skills level, I actually managed to pass it within the first time and I'm not bragging with that. I got a 51, which is crap. But in this video, I want to share my strategies that I used that helped me and that move the needle for myself. So how this video is going to be structured is I'm gonna be first sharing my studying philosophy, which is important to understand the different principles. And then I'm gonna be sharing to you guys what are specifically the practical subjects that I focused on with performance management. And then lastly, I'm gonna give you guys some study strategies that I use that actually move the needle. And if you guys watch the end of the video, there will be a free summary of this whole performance management syllabus, which I think you'll find helpful. Now, for those of you who are new, just quickly, my name is Conrad and I'm an ACCA student studying at the applied skills level. And my goal with this channel is to help you actually pass your studies and do the best possible that you can. I'm rooting for you 110%. So without further ado, let's get on to my studying philosophy. Part A is my studying philosophy. And this is basically like how I think about studying. I actually think of myself as a part-time student. And this is something I got from Ali Abdul who is my mentor and he actually named his course part-time youtube academy after this there are three main structures within my studying philosophy and let me dive into them one by one so first of all is i like having a life beyond studying i'm not the type of guy that can sit down the whole day and just focus on my studying and get like 90 percent i like to think of myself as a whole rounded type of guy that actually has some other things on the side now for myself personally i have a youtube channel a business on the side i do side houses on the side work for different companies so i'm really busy and to be honest i actually like structuring my time like that now your parents are not going to be happy when they hear this but i actually think to myself how can i spend as little of my time as possible on my studies now, hear me out before you just click off this video. I think about the end goal rather than the short term sprint. So what am I actually doing this chartered accountancy course for? What is my big vision towards becoming a CA? And upon like reflection, I actually came to the conclusion that one day I want to be either a CEO of a company or I want to be my own person or entrepreneur. So balancing studying and saying every day I'm going to put in an hour or two in my studies is a better approach for myself personally. Now, this form of thinking actually brings us to the second point, which is breaking the work up into smaller chunks. I don't believe in cramming, guys. <laughs> my YouTube editor messaged me the other day. He's like, no, I did some cramification or something like that. And I was like, yeah, no, I can relate to that. Because when I was in high school, usually the night before the time, I would like try and get all the knowledge in as possible, like try and stuff my brain with knowledge. And then the day of the exam, go and write and like literally dump everything. And to be honest, that method works, but it's only like for a short term. Because when you're in the long term, when you're actually going to work on your profession one day, you're not going to be able to apply that knowledge in practical terms. So I always follow some sort of approach or like guideline when I'm studying. And that could either be like an Excel document, when I need to do what. Uh, and it just gives me this form of structure to breaking up everything into smaller parts. I know some of you guys might have heard, but it's like spaced repetition. So you want to try and get as many reps like you're building your muscle. You want to try and get as many reps in as possible in order to grow that muscle. And the same thing with your studies. Think of your brain as a muscle. So you want to get in as many reps of that specific topic as possible so that you actually later on know it as the back of your hand. Now, also based off of the first principle of spending as little time as possible, the way I actually do this is by following the 80-20 principle. Now, I know most of you have probably heard about the 80-20 principle, but it's basically, you need to find the 20% of the stuff that consists of like 80% of the marks. So what I do is I usually work through the exam papers, go through eight or 10 of them, and then you see topic by topic, what do they ask more consistently? And then you spend the bulk of your time, which is 80% of your time, focusing on the 20% of the topics, which is later on also gonna give you like 80% of the results. So you're gonna be able to pass while just focusing on 20% of the work. So now that I've got my philosophy out of the way, like how do I practically study for performance management? What tools actually help me to be able to pass like literally the first time? So I'm gonna literally give you guys 
what I focused on when I was studying for my performance management. And this is while I was following my 80-20 principle. The chapters that I found were the most asked were like all costing chapters, all uh, budgeting and standard costing, and then also planning and variance analysis. Now, just a caveat, like literally, please, just like go through maybe five exams. Okay, three minimum for you guys that are lazy like me. And just check, okay, what did they ask in the June 2023 paper? And obviously you can then go further back and then see like a trend because you guys are accountants you're supposed to identify trends specifically what i found the most impactful was the costing methods and then also the variance analysis like if i had to pinpoint specifically what i focused on the most and then i also made these things interesting for myself by trying to apply it in my practical experience that i'm busy doing now because i'm working at a school so i'm actually trying to apply these concepts and these ideas into the school even though i might not even show it to my boss but like i might a pro forma table whatever to try and see what does this cost one of the ways that i actually apply this was we've got kitchens in our schools so i needed to do the costing of the kitchens and then i worked through the costing of the kitchens and i saw okay listen we were actually making a loss at our kitchens and then i had to turn that around so try and apply these concepts specifically where you're working if it's possible if you have a bit more advantages like you can change things so that's also a tip for you guys now in the final part i want to give you guys something practical that you can walk away with today these are not those type of common tips that you guys get usually from other people on the platform i actually wanted to make it something unique and these specific strategies that i'm going to show you guys now um, i'm going to give you guys three in total they actually help me like a ton and i know some of them might sound like they are not that impactful but i promise you if you like focus on these three it'll actually like change the way you think about your studying and it might even improve your studying even by one percent because if this video improves your studying by one percent i'm happy as long as i can help you with that okay so diving into the first specific strategy that i used is doing all of the past papers on excel and not on a pen and paper guys this is like something that that you should do now doing this gives you a few benefits obviously the one is that when you're going to write your exam you're going to write it online and they are going to use something like Excel or Google Sheets. So get proficient in it. Get used to typing. Get used to moving your... Oh yeah, and I wanted to say show off my, my nice keyboard. Listen how good it sounds. It's a mechanical keyboard. <laughs> Let me know down in the description if you want me to make a review of it. But like, get proficient in it. Learn how to use it. Learn the different formulas. Le learn how to say equals, sum, um, bracket. Learn how to do the different formulas. Because ultimately in the exam, you've got... 1.8 minutes per question or per mark and this basically means that if you're going to waste time if you're going to waste time by not knowing how the excel is structured that means that you're wasting pressure time in which you could answer in which you could make up that mark so do you see like the rationale behind this whole doing it on excel second one is shortcuts are your friends learn them and i'm talking about keyboard shortcuts specifically mac for those of you guys who use windows I don't want to be associated with you. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of questions. Number one, how dare you? <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to run through a few basic ones for you guys who don't really know keyboard shortcuts. But it's basically Command C is copy. Uh, Command V is obviously paste. Command X is cut. And then obviously then you Command V and then it co copies it down. Another shortcut that actually revolutionized the way that I type my typing speed is option delete and that deletes like multiple phrases at once so like you don't have to go one by one to delete everything and also one that is command delete and that deletes like a whole sentence now i will share this template of i have a template of notion that has all of these different shortcuts i'll share on, on in the link in the description if you guys want to go check it out and then lastly is increase your typing speed guys my typing speed was absolutely horrible my typing speed was 20 words per minute Ali Abdul's typing speed, just to give you guys a co comparison, Ali Abdul's typing speed is 156 words per minute. And imagine if you could like type 156 words per minute. Imagine how fast you could write down your answers or like articulate your thoughts. Now I've actually increased my typing speed to like 56 words per minute. My goal is like 100 words per minute, which is like really fast, but I think I could do it. But I want to share some websites and tools that I actually used to get to this level that I'm at now. But I'm still not at a good level, but it's 10fastfingers.com and then uh, that's like where you test your typing speed and then where you actually learn how to use your full typing because I usually used to type with the wrong fingers 
and you know some of you guys type like this <laughs> is typing.com that's like a great free website that you can use to improve your typing skills now i did say that i'm going to leave you guys a free resource which is literally my entire summary of the performance management syllabus um, I'm going to give it to you guys absolutely for free. All you have to do is just click the link in the description and then just go to the email list sign up and then you guys sign up uh, to that. Trust me, I don't spam you guys with crap emails. I'm going to send you emails that are going to help you. It's like to do with studying and productivity. It's not a fancy ass website because I can't afford a fancy ass website. It's going to be on Google Sheets. But uh, every week, weekend, I'm going to try and send you guys some sort of email to help you with your productivity. It's going to include free templates, free things that I'm busy with, studying techniques, just basically things to achieve ambition of helping you actually pass your studies and do well in your study. Now, if you're interested, please click the link in my description and then sign up. I will literally within maybe one or two days, remember I've got a life, send you guys the template. But then I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.